Alrighty, guys, welcome to the weekly outlook. Thank you guys for joining me today. This is our weekly outlook for the week of September 30th, finishing off September, getting into October. Um, if this is your guys' first time here, thank you guys for being here. My name is David Schinkel. I'm the CEO and founder of Positive Traders. Um, I do this weekly outlook just about every single when or just about every single Sunday for you guys. So if this is your first weekly outlook, um, please definitely stay subscribed or turn on your notifications. So that way you get to see every single weekly outlook that I do for you. These are all for free. Keep in mind, guys, big disclaimer that this is just my opinion in the markets. Please don't take that this as financial advice. Um, this should just be used for informational and educational purposes only. But we have a big week coming up, guys. Uh, this is an NFP week, so we have non-farm payrolls on Friday. Very quickly looking at the economic calendar, just a lot of news for the U.S. dollar throughout this week. So a couple of things just to speak on is, of course, Friday, we have non-farm payrolls. Wednesday, of course, we have ADP. Um, Wednesday, we also have federal chairman uh, Jerome Powell speaking, and also he speaks um, again on Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Jerome Powell is going to be speaking, and then plus non-farm payrolls in Friday, on Friday. You can expect this to be a pretty volatile week for the dollar. Also, if you guys are not familiar um, on NAFTA, I'm not going to get super into the whole NAFTA deal. If you guys want to go and research on your own a little bit more about that, you definitely should and can. But the NAFTA deal is supposed to, they're supposed to come to a, a deal tomorrow. So the deadline for that deal is tomorrow. So in the way of technicals, I'm going to share with you guys a couple of setups that you can look at. But definitely take that with a grain of salt, knowing that this is an NFP week and we have the NAFTA deadline tomorrow. But to, to start off this week, guys, let, let me just go ahead and share with you guys, as I've, as I've mentioned in a couple weekly outlooks before, you guys know that my, I used to like make my weekly outlooks like 30, 40, 50 minutes and, and go over every single pair and kind of draw things out. And I feel like um, you guys were getting kind of bored with that. So what I'm doing now is just doing a very quick 10, 15 minute outlook. Um, this is probably only going to be about 10 minutes today um, by the time we're done and just go over just the setups that I'm most interested in. So um, I'm not specifically interested in trading the dollar, but I do just kind of want to share with you guys price action and what's been going on and kind of what my thoughts are with the dollar. So you guys know for a while, ever since a couple weeks ago, since about the 13th of September, I shared this trading idea and I mentioned that we are probably looking for a little bit of weakness on the dollar short term before finding some strength. And if I go ahead and play and see what's happened, we can see that price has pretty much followed this almost exactly. It did not go as low as I would have liked it to go. Um, we can see that my original idea was it to come and retest this 93.2 zone. It didn't quite get all the way there and we're taking off. This might be it for the dollar. This may have been the bottom. So I'm, I'm going to be watching and seeing how price reacts around this zone. We're also once again at a very significant resistance level, um, the 95 area. So should be interesting, but definitely know that if we break through this resistance, we're going to be taken off. The dollar is going to be taken off. So as of right now, I'm more bullish than anything on the dollar, but we do have NFP on Friday and there is a NAFTA deal with a deadline tomorrow. So that, that's going to be high impact for US dollar, high impact for Canadian dollar. Um, it's, it's just like a national trade deal. So it's pretty big. Um, I'm what I'm focused on, let me go ahead and, and go to the pairs that I'm interested in. So USD CAD, let me just take a minute and talk about USD CAD. So I had mentioned, let's just kind of start from the top. So I had mentioned back on September 13th, you can see right here in the top left where I'm highlighting where my cursor is September 13th. I posted this setup that said, we're probably going to see some downside on USD CAD, but somewhere around these lows, we're looking for a buy on USD CAD. Similar setup, we didn't really get all the way down to those lows, but we did end up taking off. And then Friday, we saw some CAD news come much come out much better than expected for the Canadian dollar. And if you guys want just a quick recap on that, I believe it was GDP on Friday. Let me just double check. Yes, it was GDP. So we saw the month over month GDP for the Canadian dollar. 
come out 0.1% higher than expected. That created a lot of buying pressure in the CAD. And we can see that this week, look at where the markets opened up at, guys. Huge gap on USD CAD. That's a big gap on USD CAD. That's like a 60 pip gap at least, right? Let's check. Okay, 50 pip gap on, on USD CAD. So I'm not interested in immediately trading USD CAD, but I will tell you guys that if you're looking for something to trade at the beginning of this week, you're looking for something like today, tomorrow, Tuesday to trade, look for some short-term downside on USD CAD. Um, maybe wait for this gap to get closed because gaps are pretty volatile. They like to manipulate gaps and then look for some downside. Um, I'm gonna re I'm gonna evaluate price action once it moves a little bit lower, but there's a potential that it breaks through this trend line to induce sellers, maybe drop a little bit, but ultimately the long-term move is still to the upside. So I'm still looking for this move to the upside, but short term you could definitely be looking for some intraday trades to the downside. Um, this is a trade that I'm in right now. This is a trade that everybody connected to the trade copier. If you're in the premium group, this is a signal we gave out. Long-term swing trade on, on pound Swiss franc. We're up about 1% right now. Um, it's floating profits. And this is just a very long-term idea. Obviously, you can see that the initial impulse to the downside took about, um, let's see, April, May, June, July, August, September, like five months or so to the downside. So I'm expecting this to be a multi-month uh, trade to the upside. Obviously, you can see I'm risking 225 pips to make about 1,100 pips. So it's a good risk to reward, 5.08 risk to reward with opportunities to compound to the upside. So just for anybody looking for swing trades, this is something I got into. I don't normally share this, but um, because we're past the entry, we're about 100 pips in profit right now. I'm or about 80, 90 pips in profit. I'm not, uh, you know, I, I don't mind sharing this trade because we're already in profit. So just to give you guys, so this is more so for if you guys are interested in joining the group, like what type of signals I give out. Now swing trades, I'm trying to give out more swing trades, but most of our trades are not obviously like this, this long and this big. This is like a very long-term trade, but uh, most trades average about a 15 to 30 pip stop loss and a 50 to 100 pip take profit. So but always at minimum a one to two risk to reward. So this trade particularly has a one to five risk to reward. And then one other trade just to share with you guys is NZD JPY. So just a couple things to point out on the daily time frame, we have a nice double bottom. We're breaking through the previous resistance. We're consolidating, making a little bit of a bull flag right above the previous resistance now support. So there's a lot of confluence in my opinion to upside on NZD JPY. I'm most likely gonna be looking for a long-term long on this pair, but this is too pretty much right now guys because there's NFP this week and I don't really, I'm not, I don't really wanna touch many US dollar pairs because of NFP. The, the markets are most likely gonna consolidate if anything until NFP. And then of course the NAFTA deal tomorrow which is gonna affect most pairs like uh, the Canadian dollar and the US dollar, but a lot of other pairs are gonna remain unaffected, and so I'm, I'm preferring to trade these two pairs, GBP Swiss franc and NZD JPY. That's what I'm looking at. And then of course, USD CAD. If I see something irresistible that I can't, that I'm, I don't wanna miss, I'll take it, but um, that's pretty much it, guys. Not the most, I know not the most amazing um, weekly outlook. You know, sometimes they're, they're a little bit better than others, but that's part of trading, guys. You know, not every single week is gonna be some crazy, awesome, perfect setups in, in you know, a, a, a thousand pips to catch in a week. You know, other trades are gonna, or other setups, other weeks, are we're gonna have to wait for our setups and let things kind of play out. So, and this is kind of one of those weeks, but um, I, I'm giving you guys a couple setups and a couple trades to, capitalize on so watch these pairs a lot of the rest of the market i'm not too interested on too interested in i will mention gold very quickly gold does look like it could be okay for just a small buy but it's it's so consolidative i'm not really interested in, in trading gold so um that's that's it on today's weekly outlook guys if you're part of the premium group i will see you guys tomorrow on the weekly outlook today also guys is the last day to get my lifetime membership before it goes up to four grand. Right now it's $9.97 one time. That gets you lifetime membership to everything. It's gonna be going up to over $4,000 starting tomorrow. So um, last day for that, but that's, other, uh, that's it as far as announcements go. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me guys. Leave a, a comment in the, uh, in the comments below. 
like this if you're watching this replay on YouTube. And I hope you guys have a safe trading week. I really appreciate all you guys' support. And I'll see you guys next week at 8 p.m. Eastern for the weekly outlook. Have a great week, guys.